how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well this is my s22 ultra and it is running the latest one ui 4.1 in this video let's check out all the new features and changes that has been made with the new version of samsung one ui with that being said if you own a samsung galaxy device and if you are really waiting for the one ui 4.1 then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys the first change that i have noticed is when i go to wallpaper and style the color palette icon has changed from a circle shape to this vertical rectangle design not only this if i select and go inside this option we have got the same vertical design which looks really nice and the color theming works more accurately when compared to the previous one ui 4.0 i am glad samsung is still working on this feature and now they are getting very close to the pixel devices when it comes to dynamic theming with One UI 4.0, Samsung has added the RAM Plus feature. It was set to 4GB of virtual RAM and you had no control to change the amount of RAM. Now with One UI 4.1, if I go to Settings, Device Care, here you get this brand new option called RAM Plus. Just click on it and now you can select how much internal storage you want to use as virtual RAM to improve the app performance. This basically converts your phone storage into virtual RAM and finally Samsung lets you select how much extra RAM you want on your Galaxy device you can select up to 8GB of RAM which is a great thing. Before I move on, a quick word from today's video sponsor Tenoshare Alt Data. There has been times when we accidentally delete some important WhatsApp messages or even photos and videos. If you really want to record those WhatsApp deleted messages on your Android including photos, videos and other files, all you have to do is go to this video description and download the software called Tenoshare Alt Data for Android. Once you have installed this on your PC, Simply open the software and select record WhatsApp data. Now you need to connect the phone to your desktop, then follow the instructions that is on your screen and enable USB debugging on your phone. Once done, just click on start and it will take some time to scan all your deleted data. Make sure you follow all the steps that is on your desktop and within few minutes you will be able to record all your WhatsApp data. If you are looking for a way to recover your deleted data, then definitely check out the software by clicking on the first link in the description below. If I long press on my home screen and select widgets, there are three new smart widgets which now have been added to the widget section. These smart widgets allows you to combine different widgets all in one place. So if you really don't like adding a lot of different widgets on your home screen because it takes up a lot of space and it doesn't look clean. So instead of adding widgets separately, you can apply one smart widget and combine all your favorite widgets in one place. You can add as many widgets as you want and access them by swiping left or right. Not only this, you can also customize and change the background color or even you can control the opacity as well. Finally, Samsung has added iOS style smart widgets. So now you can save a lot of space and keep your home screen clean. In One UI 4.0, you have this toggle called extra dim in the notification panel. It basically dims the screen beyond the minimum brightness and it is super useful at night when you are using your smartphone. But now if I go to settings and then to display, we got this brand new option called extra brightness. This will increase the maximum brightness on your device and it can be extremely useful if you are using your phone outside in the direct sunlight. So now we have got both the extra dim and extra brightness feature in the latest One UI 4.1. Next, if I go to accessibility and then select hearing enhancement under the left and right sound balance slider, you now have this option to choose between your connected audio device and the phone speaker. So now you can separately control the sound balance for your Bluetooth devices. Finally, let me show you the animations that we get in One UI 4.1. As you can see, the animations are much faster and smooth. Definitely there are some improvements and I always love these animations that we get in Samsung devices. So that's it for this video. These are all the new features that has been added in One UI 4.1. Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature. Also if you guys liked this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.